This is the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. The Watches and Wonders Geneva Foundation, or the WWGF, is a brand new non-profit organization with headquarters in Geneva that aims to promote watchmaking excellence throughout the world by hosting global in-person or online watch and jewelry exhibits. Some of the biggest watch brands in the world, including Rolex, Patek Philippe, and the Richemont Group, have joined forces for an unexpected new venture that is based on the success of the Watches and Wonders trade show, which, following the unfortunate closure of the Basel World exhibition, which was more or less grown to be the biggest and most important annual event for the Swiss watch industry. Since its pioneer event took place last year, many people are expecting this year's turnout of events. In today's video brought to you by the luxury world, we will be going to discuss our predictions and what we hope to see at the Watches and Wonders shows in Geneva this 2023. If you still have not subscribed to our channel, make sure to do it now so you can stay updated on our future videos. Watches and Wonders 2023 is currently only known by its date and the fact that it will take place in Geneva. Rolex, as one of the much-awaited brands in the watch world, is anticipated to attend Watch and Wonders. As opposed to previously unveiling the timepieces at Basel World, Rolex began attending the show in 2022. Some of the last year's event, both live attendees and virtual guests, are invited to this year's Watches and Wonders. Now what we expect to see in this year's event is what we are going to talk about today. Let us now start with Rolex. What do you think we are going to see from Rolex in 2023? People have probably thought about this for many years already, but we are still very hopeful about the Coke bezel and it might be going to be a big year for the Coke bezel. Hopefully, this year will be a blessing in disguise for us that we finally get a Coke bezel GMT ceramic from Rolex. We have all been saying it for years, but the release of the Rolex GMT Master 2 Coke would be ideal as part of our Rolex 2023 predictions if Rolex wanted to atone for last year's lack of shock and awe. If Rolex wanted to satisfy public demand, they should reintroduce the GMT Coke for 2023. It would be the smartest move. While it may still be unsure if Rolex will do that, probably the Tudor will. It seems that Tudor has been like a younger brother of Rolex, which is known for playing with different iterations of ceramic watches. They have ceramics for their cases and they also play with bronze cases. They try to test them first if people will support them. One of our favorite watches we had last year was the Tudor Black Bay Pro and it was a great piece with a modern iteration. Going back to Rolex, we think that we are going to witness more of the titanium watches and it will be exciting if they will do it in the Sea Dweller just like how Tudor has done it to their Pelagos. Fans of Rolex are therefore naturally excited for new products that are cased in RLX titanium. Rolex has always been the hardest one to predict, but using the logic, we can assume that Rolex will still require doing a 41mm GMT Master watch and the reason for this is that they took the same watch from the Submariner and people still accepted it wholeheartedly. If Rolex will go for a 41mm case, they can also do it for Daytona or the GMT Master 2 watch. We hope for a bigger Daytona watch for this year, as they have a slim case of 40mm which can be beneficial to a taller and bigger folks who want a comfortable watch. It's also nice to see an iteration in their colorways, since they haven't changed the bezels and it's still in the same cases. If you're fond of the Daytona watch, for sure you will agree with this. They could use something to freshen up the look of Daytona watches or make a spin-off and bring it to the other Rolex sports watches. We hope to see a different dial color, especially if it can come in a steel model. And talking about other brands aside from Rolex, it seems like a lot of brands will start to go for red as the color of the year. We saw green as the main color of the year in 2022, and blue which has always been the color even in prior years. The market will react to anything Rolex does. Every watch company released a green version of one of their watches last year, and the majority of people think that was because Rolex had such success with the Pantone color. Rolex 2023 predicts that at least one of their brand new watches will be made in a stunning shade of red, putting them at the forefront of the industry. The launch of GMT Coke is not taken into account in this projection. In 2023, we predict that a different collection such as the Melgaus, Submariner or Explorer will go through the red color. Going to the Patek Philippe, we also have predictions on hand. And first of this is something to do with their sports lines like the Nautilus and the Aquanaut. 
Patek will surely go with the same kind of patterns that they will not be changing too much in their collection. It's always about their watch changing dial color or shifting into other textures of the dials like what they have done in previous years. As much as we want to see more changes in the other Patek Philippe's watch collection, we are more sure that changes are more certain with the sports watches. Take for example the changes that we saw in Nautilus 5811 in white gold where we saw a spin on that between last year which Rolex also explored in making more titanium watches. We hope to see Nautilus 5811 in titanium and for sure it will make good sense. White gold was already beautiful but why not explore something different for Patek Philippe? It would would also be lovely to see the same thing as what they did with their perpetual calendar. Anyone who will use complicated watches and having them both together makes perfect sense for the quality of a Patek Philippe watch. Furthermore, we will also be mentioning one of the favorite Swiss brands, the Parmigiani Fleurier. We like to see a little bit from them but they may stick with making iterations on their GT which is a watch that captured a lot of novices from the watch industry. It's a modern style mixed with technical virtue and flawless craftsmanship that makes this model particularly popular with younger informed consumers. One of the big changes that they might create is that they are going to streamline pieces of stuff like changing their logo. But we are not fully sure of that fact. Another brand is an Italian watch Panerai, where pretty much the same stuff can be anticipated. We hope to see a complicated watch with a routing mirror that comes with a time zone that can also be wiped out without risking the aesthetic value of the watch. After successfully putting together the country's first significant watch fair since the pandemic began, the Watches and Wonders is surely a great help to showcase the best among the different watch brands in the industry, including the top luxury brands in the world. Leading watch companies from around the world participate in displaying the newest developments, inventions, and works of art in the field of watchmaking. Leading prestige watch brands now call Geneva home, staking its claim to being the industry's hub. And now that we are only a few months away from the event, it gets more exciting to anticipate the different brands that will showcase their new updates on their watches, including the new releases and other things that they can make the watch enthusiasts go on a hype. Let's have fun making predictions for this year in the meanwhile. As a reminder, there is no inside information supplied and all of our forecasts are purely speculative. The watch industry is poised for some intriguing possibilities this year, which is what we are more sure of. What are your thoughts on the predictions we discussed in this video? Are you also looking forward to see what the watches and wonders will offer for this year? We would like to see your answers and opinions in the comment section. If you liked this video, we will be glad if you let us know that too. Don't forget to follow us and give us a thumbs up. Once again, this is The Luxury World and we look forward to seeing you again in our next videos.